so yeah hi guys I want to welcome you to we're back to my channel sunset songs um, this is shadow girl and I want to welcome you to we're back to my channel sunset songs we're here guys it's all about the law of attraction the law of attraction made the idea that like attracts like it said through the law of attraction that through your thoughts your thinking your actions so on and so forth you are said to be attracting the same to such back into your life if you are thinking and doing and speaking and so on and so forth saying um, positive things and it said that you would be attracting the positive right back into your life on the other hand on the other hand guys if you are thinking doing speaking hanging out with negative people that type of thing then you would be so attracting the negative right on back into your life guys I just want to get started on this real quick you probably already know what it's all about anyway um, you see all these candles lit right now um, and it's actually daytime um, I've got the candles lit um, on my porch during the day. Um, number one, this is a citronella candle. Um, but I also have these candles lit because I like to have candles. Um, you're, you usually, you're usually going to see a lot of candles in my videos. Um, even if you're going to watch my videos during the daylight hours um, when it may not even be needed because of the fact that um, my channel Sunset Songs is not only about the law of attraction, um, it's about the song that plays in your heart um, and it's also about um, harnessing the power of your thinking whether that's going to be positive or it's going to be negative no, no matter which way you go you're harnessing something um, with these candles lit um, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about um, the morning light I'm thinking about the Sun um, and I'm thinking about harnessing the power of the sun, um, the fire, um, it, harnessing the fire of the sun, um, and that it, really, guys, that could even be the moonlight because that's a sort of a source of light, really, as well. And I talk about um, the sun, the moon. I think I talk about moon phases, all that in my videos as well. Um, but it's it's kind of about harnessing the power of the light even in the dark times so I just wanted to say that that that's one of the reasons why I have a lot of I usually have a lot of candles lit in my videos and again this is daylight but you see these candles lit guys um, I'm gonna jump right into this now I've been talking for I don't know how long and I have a tendency to do that I am a Gemini but guys um, I just want you to look out the look at the layout of this video um, the reason why I wanted to make this, I, I'm going to say it's going to be a quick video, but I never know how long-winded I'm going to be, being that I am a Gemini. Um, guys, um, I just want you to take a look at everything that's in the video. Uh, this is a scarf that's blowing in the wind. Um, makes you think about time going by, whatever. Um, this table is actually made up to look like the 4th of July, like a July the 4th celebration, Independence Day. Um, actually, if you can look um, here on my channel along, um, look back on some older videos. If you go back, um, if you go back a couple of months ago, um, it was actually January. Was it January? I believe it was a January day when I made a video. Because um, it, it, I made the video in January. Um, out on my porch because usually in January December all that it's usually cold but on this particular night in January um, it was unseasonably warm so I said you know what I love making my videos out in the elements um, it's all about what's coming to you the universe what you're attracting to you whatever that's what my channel's about um, keeping positive but keeping it real at the same time and it is a discussion so the weather was beautiful on this January evening whatever it's I don't even know what time I made the video but you know I had to wait till I get off from work just like I always have to wait till I get off from work and I had to, to do that today um, of course whatever um, but what happened what happened um, like I said it was it was a January evening when I made when I made a video and um, when I made the video, when I made the video, um, I came out because it was warm, unseasonably warm, and I'm sorry, I'm jumping over my thoughts, whatever. 
and I'm going to explain to you why I'm a little bit cloudy and confused in thought right now. Um, but keeping to what I was saying, um, keeping to what I was saying, if you go back and you look at the video that I made, the video was about um, a dream that I had. Um, it was about candy canes and there were apples in the video. Um, it, 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 basically the the video was that particular video was about the meaning of um, I think I'm even through apples in there as well because you can see red in this a lot of red in this video as well but I had at that point I was talking about two different dreams that I had one was about apples and one was about candy canes and all together you have to look at the video it came it, it came out to be and you see this candy cane right here uh, it's a can it's a really big candy cane ornament um, in the video you'll see all these candy canes laid out because I was talking about the meaning behind the candy cane um, what the story behind the candy cane was Jesus all that well um, what I'm getting around to is the idea of making plans I'm I'm getting around to the idea of making plans and how we think we think that we can make plans or we think things are going to work out this way or that way or we try to control like a situation um, now again I am talking about the law of attraction being positive all that whatever but sometimes there's some things that are just out of our control really it's just out of kind of a, kind of out of our control it seems like that's the way it seems like to me anyway and my mom had said that no one of the reasons why I got into the law of attraction in the first place was with the illness and death of my mother um, and you know I'll be telling that story over in different ways on my channel whatever but that's how I got really got into the law of attraction was the death of my mother it was something negative really that drew me towards us in living the trying to live more in tune with nature and to try to get the things that I want out of life but one thing that my mother said um, while she was sick and it was the, the weirdest thing you know it, but but real I won't say weird my mother in her illness just come out to say that we couldn't make plans she's like you know you can't make plans she was saying this because of the fact that she always thought that things were going to work out in a certain way and then she got sick rather young and her life was cut short. My mom um, passed away at 55. Um, she passed away at 55. But through her illness and she got very, very sick, she came to the point where she would often say, well, you can't make plans. And she just, when she would say it, she would, it, it would make her angry because she had a, an idea as to what she thought her life was going to be, whatever. But basically guys I set this table up um, way back in January and what I did I set this table up to look like this but the only thing about it was it when you look at this table you're seeing lots of red white and blue um, I had decided that way back in January I had kind of made a plan I had made a plan that what I was gonna do I was going to talk about apples I was in my dream about apples I was gonna talk about my dream about candy canes because I had a dream about candy canes. guys just go back and look at the video if you want to hear a little bit more about it um, which I still got to finish what I was saying about the dream long story just go back and look at the video if you would like whatever um, the idea is that I had started I had made this table made the table up to look like this um, back in January and what I did I was thinking about summer and I thought you know what when I make this video I'm gonna make it pretty like a candy cane red and white whatever um, and what I did I didn't have any of this red white like I didn't have the blue in it so I had white and I had red but I didn't have the blue laid out in the video and basically what I did like I said the video was about apples and candy canes but I didn't have um, the blue in it. So the way I decided what, what I was gonna do with the video being about apples and candy canes, I said, okay, um, there's, there's white and there's red in that idea. 
So I, even though it was a January day, I made the video out um, where I didn't have the, I didn't have the blue out because I didn't have like the flags and all that out in the video. I just had the picnic table. Like you see this right here. It's, this is basically just made up to be like a picnic. That's a picnic tablecloth. So I made it up in winter and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to set this up and then come summer, summer, spring, whatever, um, I can just take all these candy canes off or whatever. And I, I covered it up with, uh, I covered it up with like a clear, um, a clear, I could show it to you, but it, it's over here. Um, I covered it up with something like if, if you were painting, you were painting a room and you wanted your, um, you wanted your furniture not to get the cake, you know, that the paint wouldn't get on the front, get on your furniture. So that's how I made, I covered it up so that it would stay the same for, I could just take that off and then I would have my picnic table basically set up for summer. Then if somebody comes over, I could just decorate it, whatever, or I could make it up for my video, whatever. And really what I was thinking was I was going to go ahead and make it up come summer I was going to make it up for the 4th of July and I would just add the blue and you see the blue necklaces the beads you see the red white and blue candle you see the flags so I said okay I can just make it up now but extend it make the plan to extend it over into the 4th of July now this is what I'm getting into about making plans and guys it's nothing wrong with to make plans there's nothing wrong with making plans but try to live in today and plant your seeds in today really and, and think the best thoughts. But guys, live in the moment as well. Like, totally making plans and putting off today. What, what, what am I trying to say? Waiting to, to jump into life, it, it, it's just not the thing to do. Because we don't know if we have a tomorrow, really. And even if you think about, you look at the red, white, and blue, you think about like our service members, troops, whatever, they go over or into war and all that, whatever. They, you know, they're going, they're going into it, you know, with their life on the line, really. And they don't know if they're going to come home or not. You know what I mean? So basically, the way, when I'm looking at this table, I'm thinking about, even I'll even say this that you know what the troops and things fight for so for about us living and with that being said my the message that I'm trying to bring to you today is to live today like somebody died for you to live and for you to be free and for you to live the way you want to 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 live and be free if you know what I'm freedom of speech freedom to live the 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 kind of passionate kind of life that you want to live and do without hurting others if you know what I mean what you want to do and be free and be you that's kind of the message that I'm bringing but then I'm going to go a little bit farther and to say that in my life I've often waited wait 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 in the shadows and that's part of the reason why I call myself shadow girl I feel like I've always waited around for certain things to happen or I've stood back and I've kind of watched other people live their lives. And then I'm like waiting for my moment to come. It's like, when's it going to happen for me? Wait, wait, wait. Shadow girl in its own way. Okay. Um, so what happened was, I'm going to go back to like last year. I think if you look at my solar return video from last year, um, there was a place that I wanted to go. I wanted to go to Salem, Massachusetts for my birthday. Planned and, and planned and hoped and thought and this and that and the third. Never got to go. Never got to go. Okay, now fast forward to this summer. And um, it was just so much as I just wanted something as simple as to go and uh, really just come out on my porch really. Or go to like the fairgrounds, my local fairgrounds and look at fireworks. Guys, that didn't even work. That didn't even work. And that's what I'm telling you, to live today. Um, that didn't even work out. Because what happened? I didn't get to go to see the fireworks that I... That's something as simple as that that I wanted to do. I didn't even get to go and do that. In, on the 4th of July, you see all this stuff laid out for the 4th of July. It's not the 4th of July. We're past, past the 4th of July right now. We're past the 4th of July. And then you, 
laugh if you, if you will, but this is still my 4th of July celebration. This is my fireworks. Um, and I, maybe I'll be able to come back and, dis and disclose it more in the description box, what happened, whatever. Even more so because I don't have a whole lot of time left on this video. But um, what happened was I didn't get to go... Uh, to the simplest thing which was fireworks in like uh, the fairgrounds or even really to come out and sit on my porch and watch fireworks or hear the fireworks outside of my porch. Why? I didn't get to go guys because I came down with vertigo. Um, so I couldn't go. I couldn't even move my car. So I didn't get to cele celebrate because I had vertigo. Um, and that's just the message that I wanted to 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 bring to you today um the candle there well the incense just burnt down whatever um that's a bit of a message here but i'm gonna go ahead right now and share something that i had actually um wrote down um when, when i set my table up i have a tendency to put like secret kind of messages out there into the universe whatever but one thing that i wrote because the fact that i was thinking ahead as well and i was thinking about february was coming and I was thinking about, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to include some more red on this before as I was making the table up. So what I did, I put this down and it's just, you know, it's red for Valentine's Day. But I was thinking about my family and my home and thinking about protection, whatever, for my home. And think about the troops. We're protected. We're safe, guarded, whatever. But I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to share with you a message that I just wrote down to myself. And I happened to turn it over. I had forgotten about it, but I'm going to share it with you. This is just something that I wrote down as I was making my table up. Um, try to clear things out, um, make my table up, whatever, and um, write messages. And then like later on, I come back and I find it. So this is what I wrote on the back of this, if I can get it without burning myself, guys. Um, if I can turn it over. It's a red heart for Valentine's Day. Let me see if I can get it. Let me see if I can get it without burning myself. Okay, there we are. I'm going to turn it over. Because at that time, guys, I didn't have I didn't have a, a Valentine's Day, uh, a Valentine, really. But this is what I wrote, and I just want to share it with you guys. And this was about my family and my home and thinking of, you know, um, protection for my home. And I just put my family and home, and you can see it, my family and, because you see that in the middle, family and home are safe and if, I hope you can see the way I have it written my family and home are safe and protected always so that was just a message that I just wanted to put out to the universe and uh, put it at my front door um, so guys I hope that you like the message that I that I brought to you today that I tried to deliver um, guys it's just about make plans there's nothing wrong with making plans and thinking about the future but there's nothing wrong with living in in this moment as well and if you are thinking positive and you know planting positive seeds and living into today living today and in this moment i think that's a pretty pretty good plan right there um but don't don't put your life off if there's something you want to do you know do it this is shadow girl uh signing out thank you so much for watching and take care guys